Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, City Skylines on Console. My name is Woody. Nice to have you back. In the uh, oh, before we get started, like and subscribe if you are into these videos. So, in the last episode, we built this industrial area that you are looking at right here. And before I get a chance to save it, I had a, uh, a lag, a glitch, whatever you want to call it, and everything just locked up on me. I have noticed that with industries, if you plop down a combination of certain buildings that you can, you're, you're, everything can freeze, the game can freeze up and you'll lose everything. So I kind of reconfigured everything. I haven't had any of those problems since. So that's a good thing. I've got all the landscaping done, got the trees in there. We've got our factories. I did this nice row of warehouses right here with all of the goods that these factories might need and even though uh, some of them are saying hey we still need some more goods uh, the other ones there's always at least one or two that are working properly so that's a good thing and hopefully shipping some goods into this area over here that desperately needs goods and so that's what I worked on after the last episode and something that I wanted to do here Oh, uh, I also wanted to show you this. So this old abandoned factory came as part of the a map, and anytime you get those little bonuses, like a like an old factory or maybe a, a park or something to that effect, I always like to incorporate them into the city. So what I did was I just kind of built industry around it, and I left those logs where they are. I added in a few more trees and some rocks just to give it an abandoned feeling. And I really like the way this turned out. I'm not mad at that at all. So I have this train, uh, this cargo train terminal right here. And one thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to connect the rail because trains can only come in and out and then they can go out of my city and they can hit this area and then bye bye forever to another city that doesn't exist. <laughs> so something that I wanted to do was connect this rail line. I've already partially built the bridge over here to see if the angle would work and then connect it up here. I've got a, a long runway, so to speak, so that it will make its way to the train cargo hub over here and deliver all of the goodies and services that my Sims will need. And so uh, that is one little project that I'm going to attempt to do right now. One thing when working with overpasses or with uh, train bridges, whatever you want to call it, um, I want it to look natural. So I really want to stretch this out. I want to, I want to stretch it out uh, so that the slope is gradual. I have never seen in real life a train just going whoop right up into the bridge and so what I'm going to do here is we're going to go to the transportation menu and we're going to go to the tracks and I like to go to the snapping options and I like to put it on the lowest setting this is going to give me a lower grade I'm also going to take off the uh, road oh let's see okay so I want yeah I want that on I want that on I don't need the road guidelines on that gets a little confusing and let's change the music here. Need something a little more peaceful. Coast to Coast has become my favorite radio station. I know not everybody likes all the radio stations that the game included, but I happen to like a few of them. So if I stretch this, obviously it's going to run into that. It's not going to create um, a very natural looking, very natural looking bridge. And I am just wondering if I should maybe start over here this can also be tricky trying to get this at the right angle but I th and then what happens oh yeah so that creates a problem too because then we're going to run right into the other track so let's try this and we'll just see how it looks I'm going to bring that down a couple that looks okay and this probably is against my better judgment, but I'm going to bring this down here, stretch it out as long as I can. Sure, why not? A train can 
climb that, right? <laughs> Let's connect it up there. You know, honestly, I'm really not mad at that. It has a nice rhythm and flow to it, nice ebb and flow. And so we're going to go back up to the straight here and bring that down a couple, maybe one. Stretch it out as long as I possibly can. And then I'm going to go to the free form here. And we're going to bring that around and line it up parallel. Stretch that out as long as we can. Yeah, that might actually look nice. Okay. Time to go down all the way to the ground. Stretch that out as long as we can. Hey. There we go. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm just going to eyeball this right here. And we'll just connect it right there. Okay. Hey, that's not too bad, actually. I, I'm not mad at that at all. I, I kind of like the way that turned out. I didn't think it was going to turn out nice. I thought I was going to have to delete it in frustration. But not so. Okay. So I've got that done. That, I thought that project was going to take a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, yeah, something that I like to do underneath uh, overpasses, and I'm going to see how this looks here. I like to build up a little dirt. What I used to do is I used to build up the dirt first, and then I would try and manage whatever infrastructure I was going to build over it. And I was like, well, that's really silly. So now what I do is... I go to the smallest setting here for something like this, and I bring the dirt up underneath it. And of course, you don't want it too tall. We're going to smooth that out here just a bit. I just want to see how this looks. It may or may not work in this particular area. This makes it look like some construction company came in underneath and built everything on top of the dirt. Let's gently do that. Okay, and now let's smooth it out and see how it looks. We'll go to the level terrain here, and we're going to aim that right over the top of the tracks. Smooth it out a little bit. Um, okay. That might work, actually. Let's try it over here, too. Get rid of that little ridge right there. Then I think I'm going to try and smooth this out a little bit. Um, maybe not what I'm looking for there. No. Hey, cooperate, please. And let's try and build that up just a little bit. Okay. And maybe even this out. Let's see if we can make it look pretty. Push that out a little bit. Or does it not want to? Yeah, that's going to push out. Okay. Um, okay. It's not perfect, but I think with a few rocks and trees around it, that has potential to look nice. We'll decorate that a little bit later. Okay. Oh, save game. Always very important. But like I said, after I reconfigured that industrial area, I didn't have any problems with the game locking up on me and just shutting down completely. Boy, was that a disappointment. 35-minute episode, and the whole thing just shut down. It was like me asking a girl out in high school, just shut me down. <laughs> uh, I think what I want to do in this area eventually is maybe do a zoo. I have a lot of commercial area probably way more than I actually need I've been trying to build my commercial and downtowns you know skylines a little bit smaller so they look a little bit more natural obviously if you had a if you had a city this big it would probably contain I don't know several million people as opposed to the 53,000 that I currently have <laughs> uh, so I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna work on that today and then I think over here, I'm going to put in uh, a little more residential, kind of on this, it's, I guess it's kind of a peninsula, if you will, 
uh, maybe along there, and that's going to finish this area out. Not sure what I'm going to do over here, but I was thinking about possibly doing some sort of fishing harbor. So this was the second project that I wanted to work on. I really love the way this seawall turned out with as a divide between the commercial area and my um, my industrial area down here and my, my uh, fishing area down here. And I thought it might be cool to do something similar over here. Hey, plane. Welcome to Mount Gable, folks. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to land. Our approach starts now. Please make sure your uh, seats are in, upright position, in the upright position. All right, that's a horrible impersonation of a, of a pilot. <laughs> uh, so I think what I want to do is I want to do another seawall over here. I'm not quite sure how I want it to look. And you have to be careful because I really like this water level here. It's that nice turquoise blue. It's very pretty. And I don't want to disturb that a whole lot. So I, well, I think what we're going to have to do is just go for it. So I think that's the level that I want as far as water goes. And we're just going to paste this right up against the... And I don't even know if my seawall will reach that far down. Maybe we'll do a, a, a double seawall. Wouldn't that be cool? All right. Wait for that water to rush in. Level that out carefully. And I'm wondering if I could even hook a seawall to this part, although part of me wants to kind of leave this natural look right in there all right let's see what happens when we try and add in a seawall where are my seawalls they're there keys keys is i call them seawalls but i i guess technically they're keys hey look at that it will reach the water okay i'm excited about that so where do we start is it gonna let me start here no probably not and i could work on that later you know what i'm gonna take off all my snapping options I'm just going to freehand all of this. I think it's going to be easier that way. And I think we're just going to start here. What I like to do is match it up to the road. And so we'll see if I can follow along there. If it'll allow me to do that. I'm going to put the game on pause. Um, okay, it won't let me match up perfectly. And let me see if I can bring it out. No. Try one more time here, and if not, then I'm gonna... Oh, well, that's a little bit better. I'm gonna follow the inseam of that road right there. Keys are very difficult to work with. And you have to practice a lot with them if you if you want to get halfway decent at it. Uh, okay. Do a nice straight edge here, if it'll let me. Okay, it's not too bad. And I, th uh, do I wanna, no, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, uh, for now I'm just gonna leave that. Okay, so we'll let the water run its course. I, I like the way the wall is divided here with the land coming down, I'm okay with that. And then we're gonna delete all of these trees you probably already know this, but maybe you don't. If you expand the tree menu into that circle, and then on Xbox you hit X, it's just going to delete all these trees automatically. One of the best features they ever added to the game. So nice that you can mass delete trees. I always mass delete all of the trees before uh, I start any new map. That's one of the first things that I do. Okay, <clears throat> so I, want, I don't want this... Uh, I mean, I guess I could add some rocks here and make that look kind of cool. Um, you know what? Let's try that. See what happens. Let's go with this rock pattern right here. See if it'll allow me to do that. We'll do a couple of these jobbies. You know, that might actually look kind of nice. We don't want to delete the wall, obviously. That would be bad. Try this guy right here for a little bit of variety. If it's going to cooperate. We had it for a little while. Now, let's just go with this one. It'll be easier. Bring that up. 
I like to twist and turn my rocks so the pattern doesn't look the same. Makes it look like we've got a bunch of different rocks in here. And then we'll throw in some bigger ones right there. Maybe another one over here for looks. And then a lot of these. Uh, I'm gonna do one direction, <laughs> one direction. And then I'm gonna twist it and we'll come back the other direction. But you know, this is your own imagination, however you want it to look. This is how I want it to look. This is what my brain is telling me to do right now. Well, I can, it doesn't happen very often that my brain tells me to do the right thing, but hopefully it is here. I'll just scatter a few of these around. And what I might do at a later time is come back and really fill this thing in a little bit thicker, but I'm not going to make you wait through all of that. We've got things to do, places to be. Just a few of these around. Give me a small one. Yeah, that'll work. Go the opposite here. Hey. Yeah, you know, I think once I get that done, I might even, uh, if I have a little room, I'm going to add in some grasses. I think that could look very nice. The uh, other thing that I wanted to do here was do maybe just a little harbor. Park some boats and some docks out here. And again, I'm not sure how I want it to look or how I'm going to get people down here, but the most logical way would be to take this road down here into a gradual slope. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, let's just work on that right now. Oh, real quick, I wanted to check on some houses because I'm trying to do row houses. This is like checking a turkey in the oven. You gotta check it every once in a while. Okay, so in the last episode I was working on this, I gotta preserve these historically. That one's good, that one's good, that one's good, that one's good. There's a new one, preserve that. Oh, I didn't mean to delete that. Okay, so I'm going to wait for those last two to grow up into stage two. And then we have our, I shouldn't say row houses, but row apartments. There's also another little area that I'm working on here. Where did that go? Somewhere in this area right here. There it is. See, I've almost got all the houses. In the last episode, this is something that I was working on. I've almost got all the houses. I just need a couple more, so... Yeah, I'm going to delete that one, but I want to save this one, I think. Yep. I don't know how this is going to look when I get done, but I think it's going to look good. This is a something that you might see in San Francisco where they have similar looking Victorians next to each other. Kind of some of those famous scenes uh, from like Full House and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and save this game real quick. All right, so now that we have that little chore taken care of, we are going to come down here and I wanna find a way to make this look nice. So I think in order for the road to look natural coming down, we have to use our terraforming tools. I'm gonna to do the slope terrain here. And if you don't know how this one works, this was always the trickiest. You start up here for Xbox, you put a starting point, and then you go to the low point, and you just bring it up like that. What did I use there? The, the A button. And so that creates a nice natural slope there. But of course, if we bring the road down there, it's going to go right into the water, right into the drink. We don't want that, so we're going to bring that out a little bit. Right to the edge of the map there where they won't allow me to have cargo ships. Can't bring cargo ships through. And then I'm going to expand this road, but I want to get rid of some of these trees. I have a feeling that I'm getting close to my tree limit. And there is a limited amount of trees in this game, if you didn't know. And when you run out, it is a pain in the booty. Because then you have to... Why am I adding trees? Uh, because then you have to 
take trees from somewhere else once you reach your limit. And I don't know what that limit is. I think it's, I, I don't know what it is. I know that PC also has a limit. But of course, with a mod, you can change all that. Okay. And gotta wait for that water to go away. So I'm gonna speed up the game here a little bit, speed up the process. So I'm ready to bring down my road, baby. Let's make this look good. Maybe even put a few hotels over there. Ooh, wouldn't that be nice? You drive through your industrial area to get to a really nice hotel. And then these beautiful views of the ocean and the city. Wonderful. Okay, we're gonna slow the game back down. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna put the game on pause. I really need uh, some residential and uh, that's something that I need to build. All right, so we're gonna go to our snapping tools. We're gonna turn on the angle, the road length, and the grid. And let's bring that down. Hey, that looks pretty nice. Okay. All right, so that's kind of how I want it to look. Now, I really want to design this area, and I think, do I want to add in freshwater keys here? Possibly yes, just to, again, to divide the industrial area from this really nice area. Now, if I'm gonna do that, there's several things that I wanna do here. I'm just gonna go to the, I'm gonna go to the regular road. And I like to use the regular road to, Design the uh, design the areas when I'm designing a harbor. And do we want to do a little inlet here? Possibly. Why not complicate things just a little bit more? But it could end up becoming a nice feature. So with that in mind, I'm going to back up this. I'm going to back this thing up. Let's push this up against. I don't want that to look unnatural there where I have that log yard, but I am gonna push this back a little bit. Just for a little extra room here. Should we do a nice curve? Okay, let's go to the medium setting and maybe do a nice curve right here. And then we'll shore that up a little bit. I'm not a very good artist. I've never been a very good artist. My mom is, uh, at one point, she was an extremely good artist and she could freehand anything. And so I have to play video games to be somewhat decent at art, but I'm getting better at freehanding stuff, using my eye and my, my hands to coordinate. Uh, let's see, so I'm going to put down some, how far out do we want this key to go? I'm gonna eliminate, ooh. No bueno. Now, is this going to come back in if I do that? No. Okay, good. Okay, so how far out do I want this key to stretch? Let's bring that in real quick here. Because that key's not going to work. Preparation for doing dry land keys is the key. <laughs> So don't be afraid to take up some extra time. Okay, that has potential to look really good. Now, let's go to our freshwater outlet here in the utilities. Water pipe menu. And we gotta have plenty. Hey. All right, that's where things are gonna get a little tricky because it wants to aim outwards by default. It wants to snap to that out. So I want to get that as close as is possible. I'm going to aim that right there. I'm probably putting in way more than I need. Uh, another trick is that you want to keep the key or the uh, freshwater outlets away, far enough away from your wall so that it allows it to build. And the way I envision this working is that, let's just get rid for now. Anything interfering? I kind of know what we're going to do with that. You want to be able to build that wall and you want to leave enough room between the water and the key, but you also need a lot of water up there. Let's put one more right here. These might not even be close enough. Hopefully they are. 
Okay, so now we're gonna hook this up to pipes. Boom, 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 hey. There we go. We'll do that, that. And you know, this is a, a bit of a chore. Some people don't wanna go through all of this for a uh, freshwater key. But with the resources that we have right now with the console edition, that's what you have to do if you want to make this look nice. And I just put some uh, windmills in here, some turbines. All right, that should be enough to supply power. Now we're going to accelerate the game. And we're going to have the keys ready to go. And that water starts pouring out. Make sure all my snapping tools are off. They are not. Okay. Again, we're just going to freehand this thing. Should be getting water here pretty soon. Yep, there it's starting. Lots and lots of water. This could be a problem right here. I should have probably put another freshwater outlet because I really wanted this to slope down. Let's see if it'll let me. Otherwise, I might have to make some adjustments there. Okay, let's see what this is going to let me do. So, I think I'm going to use the edge of this road. It's kind of my straight edge here. I'm going to start in the middle. Is that going to come down if I do that? Nope. Okay. Let's see how far out it'll let me go with this. Uh, pretty far, actually. I'm impressed. Hey, look at that. Will it let me do that? Probably not. No. I guess I could bring that up eventually. I should connect those, it'll look nicer. Or maybe I'll just put some rocks in there. I don't know yet, let's see. All right. Okay, I'm gonna back out a little bit. Basically wanna do this in two chunks if I can, just to keep the, the curve looking natural. Oh, come on, there we, oh. Almost there. Just a little bit. There we go. Uh, I, uh. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Well, <laughs> I've impressed myself. <laughs> All right, let's get rid of these. We don't need them anymore. Bye-bye, freshwater outlets. Thank you for your help today. You've, you've been amazing. And thank you, wind turbines. You've been amazing, too. Big applause to everybody involved. Sometimes the uh, projects don't always turn out the way you'd like, but I think this is going to look real pretty when we get done. Okay. Uh, we're going to let that water recede while we push this extra dirt up to the wall. And it'll probably uh, give us some graphic glitching, which it likes to do when, because we're doing something that was really never meant to be done in this game. Yeah, it's coming together. Nice, nice. How could you be mad at something like that? You can't. Yeah, that turned out. That turned out better than I thought. We'll just take care of these last few. Let's zoom out. Woo! Oh, that'll impress your friends. My mom's gonna hang that one on the fridge. I can feel it already. I wonder if I can connect this. Let me see. I'm gonna go down here a little bit. This could get a little crazy. See if it'll let me. Doesn't always like to. Okay, let's pause the game here. Sometimes pausing the game when you're working with uh, keys can help a little bit. You're gonna give me that. Oh, hey, look at that. Man, today is a good day and it's a Monday for crying out loud. Wow, this is a lot better than the last episode. Hey, we better save that real quick. And uh, I'll clean up some of those edges a little bit later. But boy, isn't that nice? I really like the way that turned out. Okay. 
And the last thing I'm gonna do is just clean this up just a little bit down here. I am stoked at the way that turned out. That's better than I actually thought. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do here, we're gonna go water line and let's bring some of that down. Just make this a little more natural. That done. Working with water is very, very difficult. You have to have a lot of patience. Okay, we'll let that flood. And now what I want to do is, now that the water has receded, I want to continue this. Let's go back to our snapping tools, turn those back on, and stretch this out. Now, the keys won't connect when you're doing a, a, a layered key. It's not going to connect, which is unfortunate. I mean, I, I could if I fooled around with it enough. I can bring this thing around here, but eh, we don't need to do that. I'm not that interested. Okay, so one of the reasons why I'm doing this with my road is that I use this as a guide to keep things nice and straight and oh, there goes the water I wonder what that's gonna do now I'm debating whether or not to put a little boardwalk on here part of me would like to do that I think it would look really nice do I put the boardwalk on the inside or the outside you know, I did this, I actually had a tutorial on how to do this in one of my previous episodes, and I don't remember how I did it. So, if I were going to use a color, which color would I go with? I actually like the university paths, so let's... I wonder how far we can go with that. We're going to start it here, and maybe we'll bring it in. Now, I don't know if my key is going to... Now what I want to do is I want to level all of this out. We're going to push that land right up against the path. Let's see if we can make this look nice. I want to be careful here. And we'll do it just like so. Now, the concern I have is that the water level is going to remain low. And so when I bring my piers out and things like that, that they're going to be much higher than the water line, which that's always tricky to do. So I just kind of want to see. I've still got the game on fast motion here. I want to see how all of this pans out. And maybe see if we can keep that water level up high. Um... Okay, this, this might work. So, let's see what happens. I'm going to slow the game down here. Actually, I'm gonna, let's just pause it all together. And let's bring in a key here. Again, we're going to freehand that, see what it's going to allow us to do and what it won't allow us to do. Well, first thing I want to do is draw this thing in. And I'm going to see if it'll allow me to use a snapping option here to... Keep things nice. And what happens if we just go right, take that off, and just snap to road length and grid? Um, I want that to be a little bit closer, as close as possible. Okay, so the dotted line in the middle of the street, that's going to be my guide here. Let's just see if it's going to play nice and allow me to do that. Up to a certain point, yes. To right about here. Okay. And then this, I'm not sure what we're going to do here. Let's go to the freeform option and... See how that works out for us. Okay. That's not too bad. 
And again, you know, with working with keys, there are many occasions when it really pays to put the game on pause. And this is about as close as we can get that. Ooh, that turned out strange, didn't it? Okay, we don't want that. So, uh, let's take all of our snapping options off. We'll freehand this all the way through. See what, again, what we can get away with. So we don't want that rising up. Yeah, I don't like that. It looks unnatural. It's not cool. Sometimes you can pull them away from land and then it'll fill in the land. Okay. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now, the problem becomes, we gotta do something with that path. I don't want it to just end. So, uh, one of the things that you can do for areas like this, let's save the game real quick, just in case. Again, I don't foresee us having any glitches or uh, any freezes, game freezes, things like that. Um, and I've done this before, we'll see if it works here, because it's a really tiny space, is to fill in these empty spaces with rocks. And how far is it gonna let me come up? Oh yeah. Okay, so let's do this as close as we can. There, now it looks like a man-made barrier. It looks like engineers went to work on that and said, hey, let's let's make this place look cool. We'll add in some rocks, bring in some nature into this whole thing. All right, so that's a start for our harbor. And then I think what's going to happen is behind here, I'm going to, uh, since I've got plenty of room, I'm going to put in some hotels and things like that. But that is a very good place to uh, end this episode. So uh, I thank you very much for watching today. Again, like and subscribe. And the game didn't shut on me, so that's good. Uh, we've just got a little bit more to fill in. So uh, you have yourself a great day. And I'll see you.